Here's some drama and tea for you all, you guys. Doug Stanhope, actor and comedian, literally wrote that he knew, somehow, uh, that Amber Heard was blackmailing Johnny Depp. But guess what? Amber Heard responded. How do you think it went? Up everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the news and true crime stories of the day that's pretty much got me eye. And this is a little bit on the insane, to be fair, for someone to literally turn around and write that they know somehow, okay, that Amber Heard was blackmailing Johnny Depp. We're gonna go through that article. We're gonna go through how Amber Heard responded. That's interesting in and of itself. Uh, but before we do so, a little bit of housekeeping here. Firstly, YouTube Human Reviewer, I see you lurking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's basically going to offend your ear holes. And to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video, hi, welcome, how you doing? If you love news and true crime analysis on the daily, served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? Uh, you need to make sure you smash the hell out of that subscribe button, like, share, comment all of that good stuff and let's jump into it shall we so i need to say that what i'm about to read from this particular article by doug is all alleged okay um but essentially he and his girlfriend they've known johnny depp for yonks for donkeys right uh and apparently according to them they had watched amber heard pretty much mess with him at his weakest uh the entire you know just completely screw him over according to him right but they didn't say anything because he was johnny depp uh they didn't want to kind of go against johnny depp and tell him the absolute truth for fear that johnny depp would basically disown them as friends and throw them out of the inner circle uh which in my opinion conspiracy theory whatever i'm sorry but no 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 that's a coward's move. I'm sorry. But at the end of the day, if, if anyone's a true, proper friend, right, they're going to speak up. Whether that friend is going to like what you're going to say or not, a true friend ain't a yes man. A true friend don't stay quiet when they see their friend going through some shiz, right? If I was in their position, I'd be like, yo, Johnny Depp, dude, uh, Open your eyes, mate, because uh, shiz is getting real. You ain't in a great position right now, okay? Your lass is a little bit on the cray-cray side, yeah? Uh, there's a way of doing it, right? Do you know what I mean? So him turning around and saying, yeah, we didn't say anything because he's Johnny Depp and we didn't want to get thrown out of the inner circle and lose his friendship. No, no, I, I don't like that. I really, really don't. Um, now, apparently, there were a lot of people in the inner circle that agreed uh, with Doug and his girlfriend, but he isn't going to name them. Okay, fair enough. Um, but he uh, describes a situation where his uh, partner, Bingo, and he were at Johnny's house for most of that Saturday, just before the alleged incident that basically happened. Uh, now, he they assumed that initially his mood that was very, very low, very, very dour, as he puts it, was because his mother had passed away the day before. But in that scenario, he opens up and says that it wasn't just because of his mother, but it was because of Amber as well, because she was going to leave him. And in his words, okay, allegedly threatened to lie about him publicly in any and every possible duplicitous way if he didn't agree to her terms. So this is what he wrote. Allegedly, she threatened to lie about him publicly in any and every possibly uh, duplicitous way if he didn't agree to her terms. Blackmail is what I would imagine other people might put it, including the manner in which he is now being vilified. And then at that stage, that's when he turns around and he says, do you know what? Allegedly. Johnny Depp is turning around and saying that Amber is blackmailing him, saying that if you don't agree to my terms, I'm just going to trash you publicly in any and every which way possible. And then Doug's like, at this point, yeah, dude, we ain't shutting up anymore. We, we, we're going to tell you the cold hard truth. Oh, 
cold. That's the time you decide to turn the cold out room. Not before, but after. Yeah. I, again, I'm sorry, but I don't mean any disrespect to Mr. Doug stand up. Don't get me wrong. But again, a true friend, no matter what, whether they want to really want to hear it or not, you've got to tell them the truth. you you, you got to tell them what you see. It, uh, I'm sorry. It, it just is what it is, right? Am, am I being naive? Let me know in the comments down below on that one, actually. Um, so he then says that his partner, Bingo, and he were together and then separately told him how much they were aware of, uh, as he describes, allegedly Amber being a manipulative if Paul. Uh, and now his closest circle had all agreed on this since the day they'd met. Uh, and that they all feared that telling him outright may, might alienate us all. Uh, but love makes you do funny things. It reminds me of, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm going on a little bit of a tangent here, but do indulge me here. I'm, uh, I'm like a film nerd geek kind of situation. And it reminds me of that quote of um, the film Red, and there's a character in it, uh, and he says, one does crazy things for love. Sorry, my mind just went there. There you go. How's that? <laughs> but ultimately, Doug finally told him the truth uh, and half expected uh, to be asked to leave. Um, but he wasn't seeing Johnny Depp. He saw a naked emperor and we told him to get dressed. Uh, other people came in and out during the afternoon, all verifying that we'd been cowardly. Yeah, uh, saying things only behind his back for so long. He seemed dumbstruck that nobody had ever come clean about this and he thanked everyone for being honest. Exactly. I'm sorry, but I'm glad that Doug turned around and says, yeah, we were being cowards. Because at the end of the day, they should have told him sooner. A true friend, if they see something wrong about their other friend, you've got to tell them. You've got to be truthful. Your friends, there's that element of trust. You don't talk about it behind the back. If we can go to them and say, look, there's a problem, let us help you. Do you know what I mean? Instead of leaving them in the shiz and, you know, and prolonging the situation, like, yeah. You know, so I'm glad he turns around and, you know, admitted that they'd been cowardly and hadn't gone to him sooner. Absolutely. But even at that point, he writes allegedly uh, that Johnny Depp still pronounced his love for Amber. Uh, he hadn't slept in days because of the anxiety. Uh, but just on the surface, it would have seemed that he was basically paranoid. Um, but... Of course, he had every right to be seeing that's, you know, what's transpired over the years. Um, as he finally felt like he could sleep, we left him. For what we now read in the news later that night, the police were called to his house for a dispute, uh, finding that no, you know, criminal act had occurred and no signs of physical nastiness. Uh, the police had left. Uh, everything Johnny had told us, you know, that she'd been threatening had actually come to be, uh, according to Doug, allegedly. Uh, it blew up in the news, raced through the internet like a plague, and blew up on Twitter like it was the McMartin scandal. Uh, people are swarming with torches on social media. I watched it all happen ahead of time, and I watched it come to fruition today, and I haven't been able to sleep again because I didn't say shiz to defend him. Why? Exactly. Again, it comes back to my point. Real friends. You've got to literally, if there's something wrong, tell them straight away. Don't freaking hide behind they're back being scared of how they're going to react. It's not a true friend. Or it's, not, it's not a proper friend anyway, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. Um, but he, he admits it. And do you know what? One thing in terms of Doug Stanhope out of all of this is I respect the fact that he admits that he was cowardly and that he admits, look, I didn't jump into the fray because I was weak. It was because I didn't want to look like a name dropper. I'll name drop now. Johnny Depp is my friend. Okay. Um, he then basically says, look, Johnny didn't do anything. He, he didn't hurt anyone. Uh, but he got used, manipulated, and set up, allegedly, uh, and made to look like an absolute monster. Uh, and he saw it coming and didn't or couldn't do anything to stop it. Basically saying, you know, it was a runaway train at that point. He knew what was coming and there was nothing that he could have done about it, especially in that climate at the time with the Me Too movement and everything else, you know, believe all accusers, blah, 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 right? So he knew. Um, now, Doug says, look, he may never talk to me again for saying it. 
but I'd never forgive myself for not coming to his defense out of fear or ego. I stand up for my friends and I tell the truth. Well, eventually, but at least he did. And, you know, he admitted his flaws. And hopefully, you know, if this did happen, allegedly, according to his article, you know, that he's learned from his mistakes and he treats his friends better in the future. You see something wrong, just tell him. Just, just tell him. Don't, don't delay. Don't procrastinate. Just turn around and be like, dude, there's a problem. I'm seeing it. Let me just bring it to your attention and see what we can do to help. You know what I mean? Now, how did Amber Heard respond? Ironically, she sued him for the article. Yeah. Um, so uh, Heard is suing, uh, well, was suing uh, uh, Doug Stanhope for defamation, intentional infliction of emotional distress, tor torturous interference with existing and prospective economic relationships. However, how did it end up? Well, she then drops the defamation lawsuit against Doug Stanhope only a couple of months later. Because look, the suit that she was suing Doug Stanhope, that came up in June of 2016. But then dropping it, well, that came up and about in September 2016. So what happened for her to change her mind? Well, she initially said when she filed a suit that the defendant's statement, so this is Doug Stanhope here, are completely false and highly defamatory. Defendants have engaged in a classic case of attacking the victim in an effort to discredit her, destroy her good name and reputation, and severely harm her hard-earned entertainment career on top of the campaign of violence that Depp had inflicted upon her for years. Okay. However, this is the thing, right? Stanhope's um, attorney, uh, David S. Gringus, emphasized to the rap that the dismissal was not the result of a settlement between Stanhope and Heard, and that no money was actually exchanged between the two. Gring Gingras added that there's no bleh, confidentiality agreement, when I can get my teeth back in, attached to the dismissal. Quote, instead, the dismissal of the case against Mr. Stanhope was negotiated as part of a larger deal between Ms. Heard and her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. Doug Stanhope is one of Johnny Depp's closest friends, and it appears that Johnny was able to convince Amber to drop the lawsuit against Doug as part of a global resolution of their divorce. So, guys, it's an interesting kind of situation because Doug writes this article, right, saying, allegedly, uh, Amber Heard blackmailed Johnny Depp and I know this because, right? Pretty much the title of his article. Amber Heard fights back and says, uh, no, uh, you're wrong. Uh, you shouldn't have written that. I'm suing your backside. A couple of months later, she drops the suit. Why? 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 She drops the suit without it going ahead, uh, without with without her getting anything out of it. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I'm just asking the question. It's just a little bit sus to me. Um, but overall, what do you think about that? And what do you think about Doug Stanhope and his statement that allegedly, okay, uh, Amber Heard blackmailed Johnny Depp? Do you think there's any truth to it? Do you not? Uh, sound off with your gobs in the comments down below with all your theories. And if you loved this video and you want to see more news and true crime analysis on the daily basis served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? Uh, you need to make sure that you definitely smash the hell out of that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all of that good stuff. And until the next time, you guys, laters.